hey guys and welcome back to another video so in the previous video we have seen how you can create a simple to-do list app using react so the motive of this video is to not create an application but to show you how you can deploy this same to-do list app to a public uh, domain so for this for this tutorial I'll be using github pages uh, to host your website freely onto github pages so there are multiple services available like uh, github pages which is one of them and uh, netlify and haruko so in this video i'll be showing you how you can deploy your uh, static react app to github pages so uh, when it comes to a static uh, static web page or in web application you can use these services like github pages or netlify because the data on the website is not changing like a dynamic uh, API calls or something like that so when it comes to static pages you can simply use a github pages or netlify because it provides built-in service uh, built-in features which helps you to deploy your react app which is static to their services or to their platform so yeah but when it comes to something like more uh, complex application where your data is constantly changing uh, you can use haruko uh, i'll also um, get to haruko once i'm done with uh, the basics basics of react and how to deploy this so in this video i'll be showing you how you can use um, this to-do list application and get it deployed on github pages so so this is the application which I've created in the previous video. So I'll provide you the link of this video description in the description below. So please do check that out and uh, come to this one. And uh, I'll also provide you the code for both. So for this video as well as the previous video. So this is the app and uh, as you can see, you can type in any data and you can add it to your list using a local storage so that was the video and this is the code for it which is running right now this is the folder structure the editor which i'm using over here is vs code so right now my server localhost is running right as you can see over here but uh, for deploying your application to github pages react provides inbuilt feature to deploy automatically your build to their uh, service so we have to close this local host as you can see and let's clear this so now the server is, server is not running the app is not running right so now what you need to do is the command for uh, basically running uh, the local host is npm start so it will run the local um, uh, it will run your web application locally using the development server so this is the uh, app which is running locally so this is a local host but once you close this the app will be not running right so the solution for it is deployed to a free service like github pages right so i'll just clear this out and follow along uh, with the commands which i'm using over here because once your application uh, application is up and ready you just have to uh, type in npm run build so make sure the entire application is ready when it comes to static pages so here i'm specifically talking about static pages right it can be a profile page or a to-do list app or some blog kind of thing which is static or a portfolio page etc right so when that application is ready check the application if it's working pro properly and then run this command run npm run build so hit so what this script will do is that it will create a build folder over here so this is the build folder which is which it creates right 
so you can check the build folder it will consist of uh, some uh, js files and the main file over here is index.html so when you deploy your uh, app to github pages this file is important because your html is recognized uh, through this index html file right so this is the file which is generated when you run this command npm run build so here it will prompt you for some uh, uh, examples or the way how you can deploy it to github pages right so uh, it will also provide you a publish link so this is the link uh, where you can uh, publish your uh, website right so once you are done with npm run build you can directly hit to npm run deploy so in this process it will try to ask you the credentials of your github account so once that is done it will move on to create your own page so i'll just put in my credentials so once you are done with uh, putting your credentials uh, the output will be somewhat like this so after giving your credentials uh, the username and password there will be a prompt or a, a response which is published so once this entire process is completed it will give you the site is published so now you can uh, navigate to this link which is provided over here right so you can just control and uh, click and see whether the uh, website is live or not so as we can see in our case it is successfully done so let's try adding this okay so it's working right three yeah so basically it's working right and uh, this is not working on a local host right so even if you want to access or you want to provide this link to someone anybody can access because it is uh, hosted on a public url which is provided by github itself right so now this application is live and you can uh, use it from anywhere right so uh, this was like a small demonstration of how you can uh, uh, use github pages uh, for deploying your static uh, react page or an application and uh, so the main important steps of all it is once you are done with creating your entire uh, react app uh, make sure that it is uh, up and running uh, perfectly and uh, the next step is uh, you can uh, give the command npm run build or you can directly provide npm run deploy so after that command it will ask you for your credentials for the github account so provide your password and username and uh, there will be a prompt or a message called published so the link to that uh, app will be also provided over here so somewhat like this message you will get so here you will get your link to your app which you have published publicly right so you can access it by your phone or whatever source of uh, access you are using so this was the process of uh, um, hosting your website publicly which is using the github pages and uh, you can also use haruko or uh, any other uh, service like netlify netlify is also one good approach or you can check uh, the documentation of react or uh, netlify itself that how you can use uh, netlify and a react app to deploy it publicly so i'll also put the uh, docs related to that approach how you can use uh, to how you can use netlify to uh, host your website publicly but the url which you get in netlify is somewhat a bit messy so i prefer github because 
um, this URL is uh, meaningful when it comes to Net Netlify it is uh, a horrible kind of a URL so it consists of some numbers and letters and etc so you won't even get to which app is this over here you can see actually which app you are hosting for example the folder name which you have given over here is to do right so yeah to do list so it makes sense right so i prefer github pages when it comes to hosting static pages uh, based on any framework you're using in our case it is react so so yep this was it so uh, in the previous videos also we have learned how you can create a basic application using react and this was about how you can deploy it publicly and access from anywhere without running your server locally so yep this was it for uh, um, this video and i'll put some good documentation of how you can deploy it using github pages as well as uh, haruko and netlify in the description below so do check it out and try it um, according to you and uh, yep thanks for watching